Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, likers, dislikers, commenters, new subscribers, old subscribers, just generally anybody who's forgotten these videos go up all the time and I just had a sh sugary time in the last four or five months. Incoming! <laughs> uh, let's, let's, get a, let's get a rundown of what happened. Uh, yeah, bike broke, bought a new bike, other things happened, and uh, yeah. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to my new bike, the 900 Tracer, as all of you sort of guessed that it was going to end up with at some point. But yes, I ended up with this because it does everything that I need to do, and it does the mileage that I wanted to do, and it means then I can go to England more often. He thought that was going to be loud. So yes, I am in a place called Cushion Dunn on the coast road of the Northern Ireland, and uh, yon little goat is probably more famous than what this place is. It's a good butt. So yes, it's Cushion Dunn. I am heading home. So yeah, I picked the tracer because well. <laughs> It is an upgrade in every sense of the word. For all you asking where the XT went, well, the XT went to the breakers because, well, <laughs> I killed the unkillable. The frame where the, uh, the oil is held in the front, it wasn't the oil pipe that was leaking, it was the frame that was leaking. And, uh, needless to say, everywhere I went, it was leaving little tiny bloodstains all over the ground, and I was talking to my mum about it, and we, we sort of, I had been piling money, money into the bike for at least a year longer than what it should have, and, uh, started looking, and, uh, naturally gravitated towards the Tracer, picked this one up from GS Motorcycles in Hillsborough. And, uh, yeah, it's just three weeks now, I think, three, three, or nearly three, four weeks. This, this, this week that the video goes up, this week will be the fourth week that I've owned it. And I cannot, I, I, I really cannot dislike it. Um, it does mean that I can come to England a lot more, and I do plan that. I want to do a, a Scotland trip. And an England trip before the end of this season, the biker season. Um, just because I haven't done one in a long time and it's just come to that time. You're still on. Yeah, you're still on. Yeah, it's just... I actually like this bike and... It's just time that I had to had I had to change. There was no other. There was no ifs, buts, or maybe's. I will give it one thing. It is fast. I will give it another thing. It is really good on fuel. I get an extra like five days out of this, <laughs> going to and from work. Um, the only negative is the screen is slightly too short, at full extension from a noggin, but. That's all if buts or maybes. Um, it does create a bit of wind turbulence on my face, but I know you can buy the deflectors, which it has the holes there for, and all the other stuff, but I, I really have just started taking little jaunts out into the countryside again, and I think because I now have the confidence in a bike that can, well, a bike that's not going to break down all of a sudden, you know, I don't mind doing it. Um, I do want to thank a couple of guys, a guy on Twitter, James, James I think it was, definitely, um, I was looking at a bike in England and he drove 40 minutes out of his way to go and look at the bike for me and sent me videos and sent me pictures and it's, uh, in my time of need this year there, there's been a, a whole lot of people, Moto Tingle as well, Moto Tingle without fail was helping me trying to diagnose problems and trying to do everything and his part to help me but you can't 
I don't like this one. Ugh. Unfortunately, you can't save what's already dead, and the XT was dying. A lot of people would actually talk to me about the bike, and I would go, yeah, the XT's terminal, and they would look at me and go, what's terminal mean? And you're like, terminal as in, you know, it's dying. What I want to say about the channel is, and, and a few guys had said this to me already, it's not about the bike, it's about you, we watch it for you. I'm not changing the channel name because um, XT Donkey is where I started, and then an XT is where I, I, uh, what I rode, and I, I'm not changing for the simple reason is there is plans in the future to have another one, if it's the 1200 or even another 660, but the uh, the channel name remains the same. It's the same me, I'm literally just sitting on a nicer, bigger bike that gives me the capability of doing bigger, longer, faster things. You know, uh, if you are interested, let me know below and I'll go into a, a breakdown of what this bike has that, you know, made me buy it. But if you do stay, you stay. If you don't, I, I don't feel bad. And, and I understand that some people just watch me for the hooliganism of my bike and I'm hoping that this year and this this bike is is is, is just gonna be one of those years where I can travel um, I think the only video left with the XT there's two of them um, I'm gonna do the in a like a remembrance one for it because I think you know it is gone, but it, it is, it, it's not gone from inside, and I did want to put a video out, out there a couple of weeks ago for it, but uh, it was uh, like uh, the D-Day, and I ridden uh, all the heroes mounted the beaches in Normandy and decided to fight the pure evil for our freedom, sounded very American there, but uh, no. I was gonna put it out then, and if you do, if I do put it out and you do watch it, it is just me making light of the the bike going. But yeah, I'm happy I made the decision to change because I mean, like I can go out more. Are we going to like motorcycle live? Not on the bike. I don't know. I don't think so. Um, Hopefully get out with a few guys and girls from NI that go out and then again from Instagram and stuff. So it's, it's just nice. I mean, I said it before. It's just nice having a different bike to break. <laughs> break. Now, we've all seen the spec sheets for the Tracer and it's... Uh, was it the uh, Chris MT09? He is from Larn, I think. Um, it's Larn or Carrick. He, he actually he was the first one to call it. I will give him that. He called it first that I would be changing the tracer, and I have meant to keep texting him and going for a run with him, but I've never ever got round to doing it. And I'm not, it's not that I like being alone when I'm riding, it's, it's more, uh, <laughs> it's more that I'm trying to get used to the bike and myself, I'm still not 100% with the bike, like, I mean, cornering fast isn't, isn't my best quality, because the XT never went fast, this is just dynamite, this, this bike, full stop. But uh, no, I am going to plan to get out with a few guys, and I want to do a tour to Scotland. And there's a, a little Instagrammer slash uh, YouTuber. I want to put a YouTuber, and you've all heard of this little this person, and I'm going to call her a person because <laughs> for me, dogs are persons, and I think that gives it away. Motor motorbike Millie. Um, uh, you've all seen it. It's it's the little dog from Scotland who 
she has her own little helmet and her jacket and she jumps in the front tank bag and you just see the helmet poking out so this is Waterfoot there's the bridge you do the I know it needs a pipe but guess what I'm not buying one um, I just can't I just I'm saving like mad because I want to do a few things this year but I mean like this is just this is what biking for me is is just going on my own I'm about an hour two hours from the house my dinner's going to be ready in about two three hours you know just cruising along maybe go a wee bit fast here and there you'll not see it why am I indicating Ugh! um you know just cruising along go fast where I want to go fast and just generally get myself back to a hundred percent I mean it, it's so so bizarre going from a bike that has so many problems to a bike that's just designed and it's new it's a 2018 I'm only to pick it up it was a bargain to pick it up and Literally, I think, I think the girl that I know, Lindsay. Hello, Lindsay, if you're watching. Um, I seen it on the website, and I remembered that she. I thought she worked still. Uh, I thought she didn't work there anymore, and I, I PM'd her on like the Sunday night, going, "Can you hide this this bike?" And she's like, "What?" And I was like, <laughs> "I want to buy it, and you know, I need you to hide it." But I uh, phoned up on the Monday morning, stuck a deposit down, and it was mine after that. It does get a bit windy. These are the glens of Andrum. Goes all the way right up into the butt crack up there. Take you up there someday. This has got to be the first time in about six, seven, eight, nine, nine years I've been on the coast road. Here he comes. Need to hear this. Oh yeah, go on you boy. Very highly edited MT09. Newer one. For anybody that knows those wee nets out there. There's well five, six of them. They are actually salmon nets. Now you know. <laughs> they hold salmon in them, the wild salmon for the fish markets. He's way over there already. Jesus. It does get a bit noisy, this bike, so it's a pretty handy thing having that screen so you can dip your head under and it's like nice and quiet. That, nice and quiet again. Darn, you can see anything, but it's nice and quiet. Yeah, I'm actually considering doing the N I think it's something called the NC500 and that is in Scotland which is that big island over there so it is uh, some route in Scotland that I would like to actually try another thing about this bike is it's got six gears but with having the XT for so long I'll always sit in fifth gear flat out and it's like, I'm in another gear, haven't I? Oh yeah, and then change. The love of house out here. Wake up to that every day. So where I left from, Cushion Dunn, you can probably go, well you can, you can go right up over uh, Bally Castle, Jans Causeway, Port Rush, Port Stewart, down round McGilligan, downhill, and then the Donegal, which I'm going to take a wee trip to Donegal too, because why not? The other thing is, this bike tells you your miles per gallon, and it's active and average, and it's like, oh yes. I guess it's the first bike ever that I've ever had that does like 110 to 120 miles a tank of fuel, or half a tank of fuel. 
And it's got a fuel gauge. Ah, oh, the fuel gauge. Oh my goodness. Okay, average is 61.2 miles per gallon. See, I always remember the places coming up the way, but see, when I come down the way, I can never remember them. And there's signs for them. Maybe that's a sign I'm enjoying it. Too. We were all the way over that last bit. And then we're in the Glen Arum. It's a nice wee place. Very, 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 very much love this wee place. Again, very Game of Thronesy. There's a castle. Or a church or uh, something. Look at that. I'm getting just puttering along. 80.3 miles per gallon. And that's not an average. Little van van. That's a, a lime. Lime works for the quarry. In there. He knew me. I had to have known me if he waving like that. I have to admit. Even the BMWs come scalping down here at some rate. I don't like forcing other riders. And I know it's a straight road coming up soon, so I'll get past them at some point. Freight train! And then we're in the Bally Galley, where all the bikers hang out. The coast road, if you're ever coming on it, there's a Timmy Van of Bally Galley. Most people stop there. Most people just go bugger off up to Bally Castle. Because it's like, what, an hour and a bit from here. I just have my favourite little spots that I like to frequent. There is a lot of sheep. And a lot of green. Uh, green mountains. And rocks. And no rocks. A lot of slow, twisty roads. There is a lot of cyclists, but sure the route and all that there in here is just where it's probably where most of the bikers go. You got scrub scrub, uh, scrub scrub. A couple of places to eat there. It's always busy in there, always. And then we've got the tunnel. Takes us back in the lawn. Yeah, everybody drives slow here because it is it's such a nice place. So I wanna wanna know Scottish people. What is the NC500 without me having to Google it? Or where is it? How long is it? Have you ever done it? Is it any good? Uh, English people, I know Snakes Pass, I don't know anywhere else. Where else is good? In the Midlands, Lake District kind of area. Because if I do come across it, that is where I'm going. And then that's us, back in the Lorne. And we're through Lorne. Now we've got a buggy on our tail. It's an SV650. Highly surprised if it's a thousand. And the scale of competition, zero. Ah, really don't want to put it in slayer mode because I cannot be erst. Are you going to go past me or not? Jesus! Yeah, a thousand. What are you riding like, you numpty? So interesting fact about down here is some of that legendary TV show called Game of Thrones was filmed here. Just over there, there's an, like an old uh, quarry factory. It was some of it was filmed in there, and uh, Just over there. Up in there, that's the quarry face itself. And uh, 
see that white wall if you can't I'll 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 show you a picture of it I'll put a picture up here somewhere but uh, that white wall up there is actually the white wall in Game of Thrones <laughs> so yeah less impressive isn't it <laughs> they're riding for nearly an hour now so ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna leave it right there because really everything after this this point you've seen it you know about it Carrick Fergus you know the big castle um, as always don't forget to like comment and if you haven't already and you want to subscribe um, yeah it, it's been in a it's been a roller coaster last six months and uh, as always don't forget like comment subscribe and keep it lit and if you can't keep it lit well it's time for new incoming <laughs>